Death Note stands as one of the highest rated television series on IMDb at an astounding 9 out of 10. Many critics are rating this 10 and are stating that this is the greatest anime of all time. Certainly, it is a different take on anime as a whole, trying out a psychological thriller, but does it make up as a great time in my books? So, does anyone have any questions? This series is a psychological thriller revolving around the protagonist Light, who is a straight A student and is ultimately bored with life until he stumbles upon a death note that will kill anyone whose name is written in it. Light takes this as an opportunity to rid the world of its criminals to make it a livable society. This leads him to fight the world's greatest detectives as they try to uncover history's greatest serial killer. The first half of this anime was incredible. The first couple of episodes especially are almost perfect. You understand the most important characters and their motives, they feel real and believable, and the rules of the Death Note and the world he is living in. Throughout the series there are actually some really funny scenes that will make you laugh. There were plenty of action and stressful scenes in the beginning, but as the series goes along, they were shying away from action and relied mostly on conversation. Ever since the biggest plot twist in the story, which happened on episode 25, you can see the series trembling greatly. They introduced new characters and new villains three quarters of the way into the series and led the viewers to not care about them. And with a series that solely relies on characters to mould it, this was a huge mistake. I ended up skimming through most of the episodes after that because of the unlikable new characters. My suggestion, instead of having 37 episodes, either shorten it to around 25 so that the characters in the story are people who we're used to, or make it 50 episodes to explore the new character. As the series went along, its story gradually came together. By this time, my rating of the series was standing at a 7.5. In the final three episodes, it showed me why I first enjoyed this series at the beginning, using masterminds to go head to head and battle each other psychologically. This has the best ending out of any theatre production I've seen, movie or series. Ultimately, Death Note isn't just a great representation of anime, but a great representation of a crime, drama and a thriller that will stick in your mind for years to come.